show on the side of that. The side too though, not just the bag. Can you do the side? Yeah. Try it on the side side, like the like literally the side of it. You mean my side like my deltoid? Yeah, like right there. You can feel it though. Yeah. All right, guys, this is our second leg day of the week, so it's going to be a deadlift focus. And then in the beginning of that video, I just want to show you guys a quick clip of utilizing a lacrosse ball, uh, specifically for like your upper back and shoulders. So if you don't currently have a lacrosse ball, honestly, it's one of the best, literally $3 investment uh, investments that you can uh, that you guys can use guys and most most uh, sports uh, sports good stores like sports authority and dicks and things like that um, they'll have them there so you can just go in there and buy one um, anyways I just love using the cross ball on my glutes uh, on my upper back and like I said on the shoulders there guys it'll really really help um, especially if you have some kind of troubled areas that you need to work on. So, like I said, guys, this is going uh, through our deadlift focus where we do our percentages. So, for me today, I went up to, uh, like I said, I'm still kind of keeping my weight pretty moderate, kind of working my way up with my, um, with, my back issue, with my back issue that's slowly getting better. So, for me today, I did 370 for uh, two sets of five. Uh, 415 pounds for two sets of three and then finished with uh, 470 pounds uh, for a triple so like I said things are starting to feel uh, a little bit better like I said back still a little stiff but um, like I said it's it's night and day from what it was literally um, when I first kind of tweaked it so this is my last set with the 415 for a triple and I believe Devin went up to, I think he went up to 370. I think he got, I believe, four or five reps on his last uh, set. So, so his strength is progressing nicely. Like I said, for me, I'm just trying to kind of get back to where I was. I think my all-time PR for a triple was five, either 535 or 540. And for a single, I've done uh, 585 for a, for a single and then, okay, so most people know after, this leg day is brutal, guys. After we do uh, those deadlifts, we do kind of a hypertrophy focus for squats. So we did three sets of 10. I believe I went 235, 280, and then on the last set, 300. So, man, to me, this is like, cardio <laughs> doing up to 10 reps on squats and especially after deadlifts so um and then uh, we didn't film the whole entire leg workout but just kind of give you guys an idea of what this leg workout looks like um as you'll see we did get one clip after this where we go through kind of a, a hybrid whatever straight leg deadlift romanian deadlifts whatever you want to call it but after that we did um a single leg leg press and then we went into a standing uh, hamstring curl and then we supersetted uh, standing calves with seated calves and the one thing you'll see at the very end of this video is I love uh, doing the adductor machine call it the uh, the good girl machine where you're like closing the legs uh, I got a clip of that at the end, but the reason why I started making that movement a staple in my leg routine is um, a guy that I follow on Facebook. Uh, his name, I think that's a uh, Julian Smith, I believe. Anyways, he's a he's got some crazy, crazy quads, and he has the most insane looking. Like think of us a bodybuilder, like a front relaxed. Um, his ad the adductor the adductor muscle there between his legs like at the top of your quads freaking looks like two freaking just huge like baseballs almost um, in the inside of his quads and he attributes that to the adductor machine 
So it's something that I definitely have been making a staple at the end, usually at the end of leg workouts. And then I also noticed, um, any of you guys that follow any like IFBB pros, I was watching a video of uh, Justin Compton and I uh, noticed he, he incorporates uh, the adductor machine as well in his leg workout. So obviously there's you know something going on if you're seeing a lot of like top top bodybuilders using that machine. I know it kind of looks kind of girly or whatever, but um, I've made it a point to make it a focus in my, uh, in my leg workout. So that was pretty much um, kind of the gist of this leg workout. Like I said, now you're seeing my this is my 300 pound set for uh, for 10 reps. And one thing you notice, guys, I have been focusing on um, using a belt back um, with my squats, just because I wanted to uh, keep my low back uh, protected. And then also, too, if any of you guys I think I mentioned it in my previous video, if any of you guys haven't seen the Lane Norton uh, kind of squat tutorial video on bodybuilding.com, it's like a 30 minute video, guys. But I promise. It is worth watching. It is um, just goes over every little detail that you want to learn about squatting. Anyways, though, he kind of talked about uh, bracing your abdominals kind of against the belt and kind of using the belt to your advantage. So that's kind of one thing that I've been trying to do is kind of like bracing my abs against my belt and kind of and then also too he kind of talks about kind of wearing your belt a little bit higher on your waist. So some new things I'm kind of implementing, and um, here is I kind of said like I said to me this is a straight leg deadlift. I'm doing my best to keep my legs straight, and one reason um, why I'm losing I'm using a lighter weight is I just feel like when I start trying to go up to like super heavy weight that I've done in the past on these, it's it's just kind of really hard to not get my low back to want to kind of compensate. So when I do just these lightweight 135, you know, reps, sets of like 12 reps, it's just purely that contraction and stretch of the hamstring. So it's just been feeling really solid. So I'm just kind of rolling with some, some lightweight work on those. And then, like I said, Devin here is kind of doing the same thing. Just trying to really, really focus on obviously this off season and, and focusing on bringing up my hamstrings. So I feel like kind of the more I can isolate them, the better uh, it's going to work them. So this last little clip, guys, is what I'm talking about with the, um, the adductor machine. Like I said, we usually do a good uh, three sets on these for a good like just like 10 to 12 reps. But it's definitely a machine like <laughs> that was Devin giving me crap. Anyways, this is just a machine, like I said, guys. Um, Starting to incorporate these a couple months back, and I'm sticking with them. Anyways, guys, we have some new videos coming up. Got a back workout and an arm workout coming, so stay tuned.